Welcome back to Smith's Fishing Outdoors. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Good catch. Nice job. Today, we're catching some crappies. Boom. First drop. Mine's bigger, Fisher. Look at this. Who are we fishing with today? Hey, I'm Bill Lebanski with uh, Panfish Plastics out here. And uh, Fisher decided he wanted to come over and catch some fish and see how to fish plastics. So I'm teaching him how to fish plastics today. Well, Matt just had one on over there, too. <laughs> we should have a fun day. You got a nice little pile there already. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're in here. They're a little finicky today, but we're... Uh, seems like the bright colors. We're fishing a flowage system, and these bright colors seem to be... Putting out a little bit better, a little bit more active on them. Yeah, Wonder Wonder Brad with Wonder Brad with a that's a wild willy color. It's just a real, real bright chartreuse. Fisher's on again. Oh, it's a nice one. There's some smallies in here too, Fisher. So oh, that's a dandy. Whoa, there we go. That's what we're after. That's nice. That's that a is one. a toad. Boom. Here. Against jig. Stuck another one. It's another good one. Oh, just a dandy. Got that against drop kick there, little red plastic. Against jig there. Boom. Boom. To the dome. Pretty in here. Awesome. Nice yellow tinge to them. I like them. Yep. Keep a few. We're going to have a little meal. We haven't had some fish we in a while. I have fish. Look at my, I don't know if you can pick up my screen, but look at That's all fish right there. I don't know how well the camera can pick it up, but there's tons of fish down there. Not terrible, but not as big as they can get in here. That's that old chigger sure. fry too, huh? Oh yeah. Wild Willie chigger fry. Wonder Bread Dropkick. Yep. That works. You were on some studs there, man. That's a nice That's little... A, oh, another, another eater. Nice little eater. Nice job. Boom. They're crushing this against you. Get a close-up of that. 132nd ounce. Chartreuse. What's your, what's your cadence today? Um, practically, I'm just dropping it down there. Especially with these big schools of crappies, you just, I usually just drop it down, and I like to go aggressive when I'm on school and crappies, because I like to get them fired up, and once you get them fired up, they can, like, Bill just caught one over there. But, you know. That's Bill. Little guy. Little guy's got to eat, too. They got to get bigger. We're going to let that one grow up a little. Eat. Come on. I and a swing and a miss. <laughs> Just a bit outside. Just a bit outside. We got some more in the graph there, though. We're going to get... This guy's coming up hot. I got my Don't feel on. real big, though. Get out of the deucer. Well, no little guy. They're definitely eating though. When they're eating it, they're definitely eating it. That's for sure. I'll let this guy go and get back down there and get some more. Late ice is so much fun. Oh, it is. It's it's hard to believe that um, with the ice ice season the way it started or out here was we didn't have much ice all year, and then we got some rain in early February that melted a lot of the snow and refroze. So we've got at least probably. 24 to 28 inches of ice out here and as you can see where it's snowing in wisconsin again that's you know it's it's just a, a wonderful year putting up with this weather but these fish are definitely on the chew today and this one's gonna eat oh i saw that saw that i don't think he's real big though nope there's that a lot of smaller sense. fish. They do have that pretty, uh, that pretty yellow the fisher was talking about. Because yep. we are fishing a, a flowage here. It's a river system that's dammed up. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of smaller fish in here, so we got to sort through a lot of these smaller fish to get the bigger eater, you know, the nicer ones, the eaters, and 
it's it's still fun anytime uh that little spring bobber bo bounces it's fun phil you're on fire i, I am on fire closer. today i just wish they'd get a little bit bigger oh yeah now i got fish i think what we've kind of dialed in here is fisher's got a red plastic on um but he's got a chartreuse head on Matt's fishing a chartreuse plastic, picking a few off, and I've been getting them on this really bright chartreuse. So the the ticket right now is that bright color. They want some sort of chartreuse on it, with it. So, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of playing with your colors. You can be on fish and just, especially with plastics, just playing with your different colors until you figure out what they want. Let's get down there. We got I'd one move, on the I'd screen I had to move closer here. to Bill because... He stole my school. <laughs> I can't help that they like me better than you, Fisher. Oh, yep. Yep. That's not a very big one at all. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he crushed it, though. Maybe. Uh, it was a bigger mark, but uh, he... Three. We fished together. Yeah, I think it was, because he's not very big. He thought he was... Thought he he thought he was 12 inches, but no... You go back down and send your mama back. He come just screaming up. That's a monster. Look, look at this, guys. See that scar on there? Yeah, there's fish big enough in this little flowage that uh, that's a snack for them. There's some big ones with teeth in here. Fisher, this is going to be the Bill show here. Yeah. I got like the first four crappies. Now it's the ones you got is studs. Yeah, you got some <laughs> Those nice ones. are the good ones. Those are good ones for yeah. in here. Got a dandy? Oh. <laughs> That's a toad, Fisher. I was working that one for a while. It was a lone, lone one. Suspended, so it was, he was working slow. Look at the back on that one. Let's Swirl see drop. Him. Let's see the back. Swirl drop. We've been doing so good on Look those. Look at how thick that back is. Yeah. You gotta love when it's an inch thick across the back. Perfect eaters. Chartreuse swirl drop. A little waxy and slowly jigging it. Cause when I when I see a couple schooling fish, that's when I start to go faster. But he came in just by himself, so I was kind of working it really slow and I almost dead sticked it a little bit and he just came up and crushed it nice boom oh it's another rock bass look at that Ooh. Rocco <laughs> what their fourth Rocco that's my fourth rock bass right there that's not a that's not Ooh, like that see guy. that monster up to the film there Rocco. you go nice what are you at fish <laughs> hands are cold I know my hands are freezing <laughs> You got Bill? I think it's a rock bass. What I got is my Vexlar all wrapped up. Yup. We got ourselves a rock bass. Oh, Rocco. Yeah. Gotta, Rocco's got to get a little love, too. Yeah, they're, the one thing that's fun about a rock bass is they're always thick and thicker fish, and they're healthy, and they really like to fight. You get these things in the 10 to 12-inch range, and they, they can really pull. And they're not bad eating, not quite as good as a crappie, but they're decent, decent enough in a fish fry. You know, what's really nice about late ice is the amount of ice, which I'm about to show you right here. We have to put an extension on our drill to even get through, and I still have to lift up so let's see how much ice we got about down to here that's that's a good chunk of ice and i have to clear off the snow otherwise we won't be getting through so guys we got them stacked here matt's got them stacked on this graph we're going to show you a little trick if we can get them going sometimes when you get these fish going you can tag team a hole like this he'll catch one if you can get one going here he's got five or six on the graph and as soon as he gets one going i'm gonna go right back down the hole and you get them active you can keep them active and you can catch them when you got a smaller school five to ten fish you can sometimes catch the whole school we just got to get one to go here 
I would drop down if I were you. You see me getting to go. You got a smaller presentation, huh? Mine's big. Changing up the baits? Yep. See, I got a bigger presentation. He's got a small bait on. Sometimes that can be enough. get away here. There we go. I'm on fishy. Ah, and I miss him. <laughs> Missed him. Ooh. Well, that didn't work like I planned wanted it to. <laughs> Sometimes they just won't cooperate, and this is one of those days. We had a little bite window earlier. You'll see er earlier in the video we were whacking them, and they were on the chew. Now they're just, they've turned negative. I think the pressure's rising. The snow stopped, and pressure's starting to come they're up. They're doing so. good when the snow was coming down. Yeah. yeah, we were doing awesome when the snow was coming down. Sometimes just a little bit of difference in the, the pressure change in that can make all the world a difference. Oh, better than I thought he was. Hey. That's not a bad one. These fish got a little finicky, so I actually had to go to uh, switch to an orange vertical drop presentation with a wax worm on it and was able to stick that one. That one's going to go into the frying pan, I think. Well, that's going to wrap our uh, our short little day here. Bill's got to head out. We just, we took a hammer on the crappies today. And thanks for inviting us out here. And yeah, not a problem. I mean, like this is, this is a fun little lake. Good, good quality eaters. And we got on a good little bite. We had a good pressure window and definitely max maximize the uh the bite window that we had we got enough to take a few home here for the frying pan and uh it was kinda, definitely a fun day yeah we kind of figured out the the pattern we we're using chartreuse jigs and a little plastic and we put the hammer to them so hope you guys enjoyed this episode of smith's fishing outdoors if you could please hit that like subscribe button and we'll see you on the next adventure thanks for a fun day buddy